Giga Texas is 180 football fields, or 135 football pitches, for our metric brethren, and it's 80% done. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A quick thanks to the newest Patreons, Nice Grotnis and Christopher Hale. I get it. You guys don't like the strict use of American measurements, so there you go. Football, fields, and pitches. Now everyone can be happy, or at least equally annoyed. Fun times. Let's get on to the graph. The site prep has finally exceeded the 95% mark after 40 weeks of watching it stubbornly stuck. Not surprising, on account of how little of the emerald footprint remains to be built. This has finally climbed because the work on footings in the central corridor have gone in pretty quick, and they're likely to maintain this pace over the coming weeks until they are all completed. The nice thing on the foundation work is that it's basically counting double towards the site's overall completion since it's dragging the site prep figure up with it. The framing has increased a tiny bit since last week, since there's so little of it left to be done. This will essentially stall until the footing work is done and sufficiently cured in the central corridor for further construction. The site's overall progress ticked up a tad swifter than last week, thanks in large part to the footings, but also the lagging accounting for roof and interior space completion. The roofing climbed nicely to 69% nice, though there isn't much room for this to accelerate for at least a few weeks until there's, you know, more areas to actually cover. At present, there are only 15 squares remaining from the total of 2,317 which have framing without a roof. Since only half the roof is counted when it's initially covered, there's still going to be progress listed in coming weeks, even if we don't see any new areas covered. The interior completion had a strong week, though not as many exterior walls and windows went up as I expected. Let's hear your prediction in the comments for the date that you think the first Giga Texas Model Y will be delivered to a public customer. And the first person to get the exact date correct, I'll buy you anything you want out of my merch store. There are a lot of aspects of the site's completion that aren't broken out for individual tracking, like the pouring of concrete floors and utilities in the interior, but these are sometimes difficult to track since they can't be seen from a drone. That's why the 17-week figure is used to count them based on the progress seen at Giga Shanghai. It is hoped that this estimate will prove accurate, and so far it appears to be holding true. Over the coming weeks, the only real progress I expect to see is the addition of exterior walls and windows, and the completion of new footings. That's really it. The walls in the central corridor is kind of all that's left to be done as far as the tracker is concerned. And while it may feel like this tracker is winding down, I just don't think it is. Once construction on buildings in other parts of the site begins, those will be tracked as well, and those have just got to be coming soon, I believe. So let's take a look at the site map for this week and get on to the timeline predictions. This is the site map as of September 13th, and now let's roll it back to December 14th as we do and go a through it a week of a week. To understand the site map, this is the overall footprint of the main building. The orange is the footings, with the darker orange being heavier footings. The gray is the framing work, with the darker gray indicating roof sections. In blue, you see the finished interior closed off space, with darker blue indicating more floors. Yes, we track the floors. So, the darker the blue, the more floors that there are. The black lines indicate a firewall or expansion joint, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete wall. As a reminder, this only counts the main Emerald Building and not any of the other projects on the site, since we haven't been able to determine their eventual size. 
Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So here it is, and here you go. As of September 13th, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Cybertruck, is 80% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 523 days from groundbreaking on or about December 26th of this very year, though with some work still continuing inside. This is a slip of less than one day from last week, though additional completion deadline slips are expected in nearly every of the remaining weeks. That's just based on the way the interior completion is counted. It's still a mostly two-floor structure, as you can see, with still just over 8.6 million square feet framed up, which is about 802,000 square meters. A very small increase from last week, but that's to be expected until the columns and beams go up in the central corridor. There are two big things that aren't captured in the tracker. The first is that production will begin forthwith. Employees have been brought on site, and it appears that training has begun. While the site itself may not be done for another four plus months, that doesn't seem relevant to the launch of Model Y production. The second big thing not captured in the tracker is all the work going on elsewhere on the site. New roads, new drainage, new landscaping, just to name a few. There's a ton of work going on almost everywhere at Giga Texas, almost all the time. Big thanks to those of you who joined the live stream last week, where we talked about a whole bunch of big, wild factors that are likely to take Tesla to the next level in 2022. And a heads up that there will be another live stream this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific as well. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast. And a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you've made it this far. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below, and as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the other side. And a quick thank you to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free experience, and a help but keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. Yeah, I moved this shout out to the end as a thank you to all of you for your generosity and support, which helps me avoid having to pander to YouTube's dreaded and painful algorithm. So seriously, thank you guys so much.